I'm outside the Cleveland Health Education Museum. Today, February 24th, has been dedicated to this National Dental Day. Let's go in and talk to the Tooth Fairy. Okay, welcome to Children's Dental Health Day. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary of Children's Dental Health Day. In 1941, the Cleveland Dental Society had the first celebration for children pertaining to children's dental health, and it was held at the Cleveland Statler Hotel. In 1941, President Truman signed a proclamation claiming that this was National Children's Dental Health Month, the month of February. So due to Cleveland starting Children's Dental Health Day, we have come up with in 1991, National Children's Dental Health Day. It became a national program in 1941. So we're really pleased to have everyone here come celebrate with us. The Cleveland Dental Hygienist Association is doing free dental screenings for all the participants. Cleveland Browns are here to celebrate with us and they sign autographs and also give students uh, mouth protectors so that when they play sports they protect their teeth and they also tell how the mouth protectors protect their teeth while they're participating. We have uh, clowns, mus uh, magicians, we have Cleveland uh, Dental Society members here to speak to people on dental sealants. Dental sealants are very important to children because they help protect their teeth when they're growing up. So they don't need to have fillings to protect, protect their teeth. The Tooth Fairy is here to give children toothbrushes that the Dental Society members have donated and to also interest the children in having their teeth screened by the dental hygienist and dentist in the building here today. How many children are you expecting here at the Children's Dental Health Day? We usually get about 1,200 students participate in the program. And it's an all-day program. We start at 1 and we finish at 4. Well, it's an all-afternoon program, I'm sorry. Is this the only day that you have the children's uh, yes. benefit? Well, there are several programs going on in the city at this time. As I said, February is Children's Dental Health Month. And there are other facilities in the Cleveland area that have dental care for children. There's the uh, Newton D. Baker program. There's three clinics there. There's also Metropolitan General Hospital, which has a clinic that also deals with children. Case Western Reserve has a pediatric dentistry department that deals with children. So we're all trying to work as hard as we can to see children in the city that need our help. Okay, what else is happening here today? Okay, this morning we had a program that was for the professional people in dentistry. It was a program dealing with child abuse and how to recognize it, which is very important for dental practitioners to know because we see many, many children and to see if they have been abused and how we can go about helping them overcome these problems. So it's a very interesting program and it's really exciting that the Cleveland Dental Association is so interested in helping children. For Cablevision Spotlight, I'm Bob Harper. Back to the studio. Ah! <laughs>